हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल यूनिक एविजन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर एम पी मॉड्यूल सेवन इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ आवर सब मॉड्यूल एट मीन्स चैप्टर एट का हम सेकेंड पार्ट यहाँ पर पढ़ने जा रहे हैं इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द रिविट इंस्टॉलेशन ओके नॉट एक्चुअली द रिविट इंस्टॉलेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द टर्मिनोलॉजीज विच यू शुड कीप इन माइंड बिफोर इंस्टॉलिंग एनी रिविट इन द पार्ट्स what are the things what are their uh, importance in the aircraft riveting all these things we will discuss in detail so let's the video will start now before starting the terminologies like rivet pitch transverse pitch rivet spacing all these things we should keep some things which are very general when we are going to rivet any of the parts these includes first of all the number of rivets how much rivet you want to install in any area which you want to uh, rivet second is the proper size and style of the rivet you know this is very important for any part that the size of the rivet should be uh, accurate and the style of the rivet like it is universal type or countersunk type or any other type okay next is the material of the rivet you know aircraft is a very complex machine here everything matters means you have to monitor you have to see the material of the rivet should be accurate and precise next one is temper condition temper condition means the heat treatment done on the rivets next is the strength means the power of the rivet uh, uh, next is size of the holes you should have to hold uh, on the parts on which you are going to rivet so the size of the holes should be accurate and precise next one is the distance between the holes what are the distances between the holes means between two rivets what should your distance this is very important when you are riveting and the last and very important is the distance from the edge means if you are doing uh, riveting on a part which is a large but when you are ending the rivet means at end it should be the edge and what are your distance before the edge that is the edge distance also it all these things we are going to uh, see and study in the terminologies also now we are going to discuss the terminologies which you should know before installing any rivet or before going to exam for anything for dgc for semester anything so first is the rivet length see rivet length is the total length of the rivet which we need to install on any part hai na so it is of two types means it will uh, ye do tarik do cheezon se mil kar ke banta how first the parts which do two parts um, obviously there are two seats which you should have to rivet these two seats have some thickness this thickness is called grip length and after grip length you should need some more rivet so that you can make the perfect shank so total length is called rivet length next one is rivet strength you must know what is the rivet strength rivet strength is the power that the rivet has to counter any of the forces right next one is stresses on the rivet when you install when you have to install any rivet on any aircraft you should know all the engineering behind it okay so every uh, every rivet has some stresses on it you know stresses stresses are what counter forces right so there are many stresses there are sorry two stresses on a rivet first one is tension and other one is shear tension what is shear tension is the elongation force means elongation stress and the shear is cutting stress when uh, which act as a cutting force okay the uh, the main important thing is here if it is two part means there are two seats only then the shear will be one hai na and if there are three seats okay three seat the two shear will work it is called double shear right now the next terminology is very important and it is rivet spacing see rivet spacing is the distance between the rivets in same row in whole row the distance between the rivets are called rivet spacing it is recommended and it minimum it should be 3 and 1/2 times of the diameter of the rivet one more thing you should keep in mind whenever you are going to see the rivet spacing or anything any terminology or any distance in riveting you should always use in the terms of diameter of the rivet okay so it is minimum 3 and 1/2 times of the rivet diameter okay it can be 6 uh, 6 uh, times diameter of the rivet or 3 times diameter depending on the manufacturer instruction next one is edge distance as i have already already told you edge distance is the distance of the rivet from the edge of the sheet on which you are riveting the edge of the seat right so it should be 
you can also say it is margin it should be minimum 2d and a maximum 4d but the recommendation is 2 and half d if you are uh, keeping it two and half times of the diameter of the rivet it will be recommended it is a good practice while doing an rivet okay next one is rivet pitch see rivet pitch and rivet spacing is approximately same no more uh, discussions on it but rivet pitch is the distance of the centers of two neighboring rivet if you are taking only two rivet then it is called rivet pitch and yeah, no? smallest will be two uh, two times the diameter average will be four to six times of the diameter and the maximum will be 10 times of the diameter okay and can be 10 times of the diameter and one more thing you must know that countersank rivet pitch is always greater than universal pitch this is a question so you must keep in mind next one is transverse pitch so transverse pitch is approximately same as rivet pitch but some differences are there the difference is it is means transverse pitch is the perpendicular dis distance between the rivet rows perpendicular distance between the rivet rows as you can see in the figure right and it should always be 75 percent of the rivet pitch this is a general rule for uh, transverse pitch and the smallest uh, of the transverse pitch can be uh, two and half times so all these things are very necessary when we are going to study riveting this is the terminology you should keep in mind if you like the video please share subscribe and say everyone to like the video we made all the chapters uh, in detail so you can check our playlist also we are lots of videos to study for ame aeronautical and cpl holders so thank you so much for watching the video if you like share and subscribe thanks